So we just got our first review unit for 2020 and it's the Huawei Y9s. It's their latest entry-level smartphone to arrive here in the Philippines and it's quite interesting because we got here an ultra full view display with no notch and of course a triple lens camera with a main 48 megapixel sensor. Hey guys, I'm Jam of JamOnline.ph and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna unbox and take a closer look at the Huawei Y9s. Before we proceed to our unboxing, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click that bell button to get notified of the latest videos here at Jam Online. Before we proceed to our unboxing, let's talk about the specifications first of the Huawei Y9s. So this smartphone comes with a Korean 710F processor along with a 6.59 inch LCD Full HD Plus display. We also got here a 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, which is an expandable storage, by the way. We also got here a 48 megapixel main camera with 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel depth sensor. We also got here a 16 megapixel front camera. It's running on EMUI 9.1 based on Android 9.5, and we got here 4,000 mAh hours of battery. The specifications of the smartphone might not be the most powerful one in the market right now, but this is an entry-level smartphone. It bears a lot of similarities to the Huawei Y9 2019, but we do got here an upgraded camera, and of course, we got here a bigger memory. So what are we waiting for? Let's unbox and let's take a closer look at the Huawei Y9s. So time to remove the plastic. Alright, so as you can see here, the box is very similar to other Huawei smartphones. It's a really big smartphone. It's a massive one. We got a 91.1 screen to body ratio. 91% by the way. Uh, that is pretty good. Really immersive. And most smartphones among these days, when you have that 91% na screen to body ratio, most of the time, talaga immersive na yung uh, experience niya. Now, alamin natin kung ano ba meron dito sa Huawei Y9s. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So, it's wow. Okay. So, the smartphone is pretty massive. I mean, it's really big. As you can see here, but we do got here, ito yung pinaka-interesting sa akin, the color. It reminds me of the Huawei P30 Pro that I have reviewed before. Um, it's beautiful, but it's very massive. We got here a flat display though, and a pop-up camera. Mamaya pag-uusapan natin itong smartphone na to, but first, buksan muna natin itong smartphone na to. So sa loob, meron tayong pin dito for the card tray. Warranty card and the manual. A jelly case. An earphones with a 3.5 mm jack. The charger which is rated at 10 watts. And of course, a USB-A to USB-C na cable. Now you know what's inside the box. Now let's talk about the Huawei Y9s. So guys, nakatingin kayo ngayon si Huawei Y9s. So actually, there's a sticker at the back. It says here that uh, you could use the Huawei Y9s uh, with either a dual SIM card slot or a single SIM plus a micro SD card. And no, hindi sila gumagamit dito na nano SIM card slot unlike the Huawei Mate 30, the Mate 30 Pro, and the other um, flagship smartphones ni Huawei. As you can see here, the colors of this one is really beautiful. The breathing crystal talaga is, yes, it's breathing. And we got here a light blue to white color to violet dito sa baba. And malinis siya tignan because uh, nandito yung triple lens camera and it's quite massive. Kung napapansin nyo, yung camera module is over here. And uh, it's very small but actually it's pretty big. It's not that big pero hindi siya ganung uh, ina-expect nyo na kasing laki na ina-expect nyo sa isang smartphone kasi malaki yung body niya. We got here a 6.59 inch uh, display on the smartphone. And my god, it's really immersive and it's perfect for watching movies, watching Netflix, YouTube channel and Jam Online, mga ganun guys. This might be a Y series smartphone, but the Huawei Y9s does have a really solid glass back. It feels premium to the hand, actually it doesn't feel like it's an entry-level smartphone. It actually feels like a um, more like a mid-range smartphone. And again, nakikita nyo naman dito, malinis yung look niya. And um, yeah, I really like the design of the smartphone. So, let's proceed dito sa other parts ng smartphone. Oh, before we forgot, we got here a curved uh, sides. That's why the smartphone is better to hold, better ergonomics. Overall, mas madali siyang hawakan. Uh, even though malaki yung kanyang body. Again, it's a 6.59 inch display. Ang laki nun. And we got a 91% screen to body ratio on the smartphone. But uh, despite that, it's not as hard 
as you think yung paghinawakan nyo siya because of the curved sides of the smartphone. Pero kung malit yung kamay nyo, wala na talaga kayong magagawa dito sa Huawei Y9s. One of the unique things about the Huawei Y9s is that we do not have a rear fingerprint scanner. That's why the back of the smartphone looks cleaner. It's neat, it's sexier Kasi yung kanya fingerprint scanner is now here At the side, it actually acts as the uh, power button of the smartphone Or the wake button of the smartphone And then we got here a really small na volume rocker Medyo nalitan ako Actually, kala ko nung una Yung volume rocker, yun yung kanya power button Actually, mali ako The power button is just the, is also the fingerprint scanner And yeah Madali naman siya i-access and everything And yeah, it's quite fast And I do not have a problems with it Unfortunately for the device The Huawei Y9s doesn't pack a uh, face unlock Similar to the Y9 2019 I do understand that because this one packs a pop-up camera Hindi siya yung pang hardcore talaga na You know, laging bukas patay Bukas patay ng pop-up camera I think Huawei wants to preserve yung integrity Yung pagiging uh, solid nung kanyang hardware Kasi Moving parts yan eh. Probably may wire intern na nangyayari every time you use the pop-up camera of the Huawei Y9s. So below the smartphone is where you can find the USB-C port, the headphone jack, and also the speaker grill. At the top is where we can find the pop-up camera and also the card tray. Now you've seen the hardware and design of the smartphone, let's talk about the display over here. So the display, again, is really immersive and it's quite massive at 6.59 inch. Uh, medyo maliwanag din siya as you can see here and it's not washed out but I have to turn down the display so you could see it clearly dito sa camera yan so makikita nyo dito maliit lang yung bezels sa side very minimal bezels on the side um, thicker chin compared to the bezels on the side and the top but yeah I do not have any complaints with it again it's an entry level smartphone having this kind of bezel on an entry level smartphone is quite fine for me again display is massive bezels are fine and we got a 91% skin to body ratio Diba? Ang ganda na nun, guys. So, this one runs on EMUI 9.1 based on Android 9.5. Well, the software is not actually that old. I mean, it was released last year uh, or two years ago rather. But uh, dito sa Huawei Y9s, it's still fine for me that we're running on EMUI 9.1 based on Android 9.5. Why is it? Well, guys, madali pa rin naman siyang gamitin, user-friendly pa rin siya, and higit sa lahat, meron pa rin tayong Google Play Store dito sa Huawei Y9s. So, it means that you do not have to install unlike do sa Huawei Mate 30 Pro or the Mate 30 na install nyo pa yung Google uh, Mobile Services dito, pre-install na yung Google Play, and wala na kayong magiging problema. But, of course... Kasama rin dito sa Huawei Y9s is yung mga pre-installed applications na kasama natin doon sa EMUI 9.1 na nakita na natin sa mga previous Huawei smartphones na in-review natin and in-unbox before. So of course, we got here the optimizer which basically optimize the resources and of course, better performance of smartphone. We also got here the themes. If you want to change the themes, you can download the themes in here. However, hindi ko na siya babaguhin. We got the Huawei Music, the Huawei Video, the Huawei Health App. Of course, the Google applications are pre-installed in here. Uh, we also got here High Care. We, we also got here the App Gallery. Basically, the App Gallery is Huawei's own App Store. You can download applications and games on the App Gallery. So this is the pre-installed uh, store then nakasama sa Huawei Mate 30 and 30 Pro. We also got here some notepad tips, some tools in here that are quite useful. We also got here the ride mode, the top applications. We got Agoda and Booking.com. So basically, there are some pre-installed applications na you might not use like Agoda, but it's still nice that we got the applications in here. And considering that we got here a bigger storage, which is a 128 gigs of internal storage, I don't think magkukulang pa kayo na storage dito sa Huawei Y9s. Also, we got here a 6 gigs of RAM, which is, by the way, more than enough for most people. Now, let's go to the problem. So this one, yes, it's running on EMUI 9.1. Yes, we got here the GPU Turbo. Yes, it's running on Android 9 Pie, not the latest, but quite fine. But the thing here is that the smartphone still runs on the old Kirin 710F processor. This is the same processor that we have seen on the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019 that we have reviewed before. And yeah, medyo disappointing lang na we're still using the same processor. Maybe because mas mura for manufacturing or for Google Play or for the softwares na kailangan ni uh, Huawei but considering na naka 710F processor sila for a 2020 smartphone 
I'm quite disappointed with that. But hopefully, yung kanyang price medyo affordable. We still don't, as of this recording, I don't know the price of the smartphone yet. But yeah, I'm really interested uh, na malaman na yung price and specifications, yung full specification and full price ng smartphone na to. But yeah, we got here bigger RAM, bigger memory, 128 gigs of internal storage, more games to install, more apps to install, more media files na mailalagay nyo sa smartphone nyo, and yes, maganda man dito kasi nga, immersive yung display niya, 6.59 inch, full HD+, quite good yung brightness, okay yung colors, panalo, ba? Now you know the applications and the software that is included on the Huawei Y9s, now let's talk about the camera of the smartphone. The smartphone's camera reminds me of the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019. Similar UI as you can see here, we got here the different uh, modes. We got the aperture mode, the night mode, the portrait mode, the photo mode, the video mode, and of course the other modes na magamit nyo. It's a 48 megapixel main camera at the back. We also got here a reasonable selfie camera at uh, 16 megapixel. So yeah, wala mga problema pagdating do sa megapixel numbers, but of course, nagano pa rin tayo sa quality na makukuha natin dito sa smartphone na to kung maganda nga ba or hindi. Before we proceed on sa photo, uh, let's check out the video first kung ilan yung kaya ng Huawei uh, Y9s. So, pwede na. The smartphone can record at 1080p up to 60 frames per second. So, it's not that bad considering that it's an entry-level smartphone. But hopefully, this 2020 mag-upgrade na mga smartphones where it's 2020, hopefully we could get better processors, better camera in the future. Now, let's talk about the pop-up camera of the Huawei Y9s. So, the Huawei Y9s pop-up camera reminds me of the Y9 Prime 2019. It's not the fastest one, nor it's not the slowest one. But, uh, okay na ako dito. When it comes to quality, yes, pag-usapan natin yung mamaya. But, of course, if you're worried about the pop-up camera of the smartphone, kung nabagsak niya siya, automatically, guys, your phone may have been dropped. To prevent damage, the camera was automatically closed, retracted, continue using camera, continue. It means that the camera or the pop-up camera of the smartphone retracts whenever the smartphone detects na malalaglag na siya or ma mahuhulog siya. It's a cool feature and it helps prevent the damage dito sa pop-up camera ng Y9s. Now, let's talk about the quality of the shots that we got here sa Huawei Y9s. So, the quality of the shots that we got here are pretty much the same with the one that we got on the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019 and uh, the other Y series smartphones, but there's a uh, slight differences. I think better yung nakuha ko dito sa Y9s, um, like this one. So, this is the uh, selfie shot using the Huawei Y9s. As you can see here, uh, medyo blown out yung sa side ng face ko, but um, better yung nakuha kong details dito uh, than what I expected sa smartphone na to. We also got here the Marshall speaker dito sa photo and makikita nyo yung details ng thread nung sa speaker and surprisingly, better yung kanyang nakuhang details, mas sharp siya ng konti, pero yung colors medyo sumala pa rin siya. Maybe because of the lighting the uh, lighting was too harsh that's why hindi niya nakuha ng tama yung Marshall logo. So here's a close-up shot of the uh, Huawei Mate 30 Pro's camera. As you can see here, it's not the best shot that I can get dito sa Y9s. But you get the details in here. Uh, better than expected but not the sharpest one again. Pero yeah, basa naman siya and uh, nakikita yung mga text dito sa Leica. So this was outside. Actually, I was expecting that the shot would be bad. But uh, thanks to the AI and HDR of the smartphone, it's not as blown out as, as I expected. It's actually okay for me, decent lighting condition, overall okay ako dito. So this is using the ultra-wide camera of the Huawei Y9. And surprisingly, the quality that we got in here is better than I expected. Actually, yung kanyang quality do sa ultra-wide, it's a lot better compared dun sa Y9 Prime 2019 before. Kasi dun medyo reddish, makikita nyo may color tint na nangyayari dito, mas accurate yung kulay niya, and mas sharp yung nakukuha kong shots dito sa Y9s. So here's the shot of my Amiibo. Surprisingly, okay din siya. Uh, well, maganda yung lighting dito. Pag nakikita ko maganda yung lighting, I think maganda talaga nakukuha dito sa Huawei Y9s. The colors on this one is quite okay. It's, it's not oversaturated and the colors are just right. However, medyo naliliwanagan pa rin ako dun sa some parts ng shot na to. But overall, it's quite good. So this is a selfie using the Huawei Y9s. The pop-up camera, the details aren't as good as I expected. So, medyo makinis ako dito, yes, because it's portrait mode. But the thing here is that, yeah, it's not as good as you can expect. It's not the best selfie smartphone na makukuha nyo. But uh, if you're into the rear camera of the smartphone, I think it's 
quite fine. So yeah, I guess that's it dito sa unboxing and hands-on natin ng Huawei Y9s. It's a really interesting smartphone. We got here a really nice colors. Ang ganda ng kulay niya. It's massive. The display is really immersive. However, uh, medyo na disappointed ako na gumagamit pa rin siya ng Kirin 710F processor which is a little bit old for me. Uh, but the thing here is that we got a massive display. The camera has been upgraded from uh, 16 yata to 48 subprime so 2019. The Y9s is a really interesting smartphone. I don't know the price yet. As of this recording, the price of the Y9s hasn't been announced. But for an entry level smartphone, I think this will do just fine unless you really need more power, processing power on the smartphone. So yeah, I guess that's it for unboxing and hands-on. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, if you hindi pa kayo nag-subscribe sa channel ko, well guys, now is the time to subscribe. So once again, I am Jam of JamOnline.ph. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, that bell button, that like button. And of course, huwag nyo kalimutan, bisitahin yung mga links ko na sa social media. Links na sa baba lang, guys. Yo, yun. Medyo mahaba yun. So, see you guys again sa susunod na video.